Hey guys, we wanted to come on today and show you another green smoothie. It's a great way to get all your veggies and fruits just as you walk out your busy day in the morning. I love it for breakfast. Um, and you get all that nutrients. And freeze dried, of course, you get double the nutrients of fresh. So I love that. And it's super quick and easy. It is? So, um, so where'd you get this recipe? So we got this from a consultant, a Thrive Life consultant, and her name is McKay Gosser. And she, we just made this up last night. So um, Jeff had it. He's like, oh my gosh, we have to make this up again because it's so wonderful. So that's what we wanted to do today is, is make it up for you. So what are we using, Jeff? Yeah, well, so. I usually, like I said before, we make smoothies almost every day, and usually we'll do more of a fruit smoothie with um, uh, raspberries and blueberries and, uh, and strawberries and lots of different things. Um, and we always throw a little bit of kale or spinach in there, so it's more of a fruit smoothie with a little bit of greens in it. Right. But what happens when you make a green smoothie, if you want a really green, green smoothie, um, if you throw anything red or blue in there, what's it going to do? Turn purple. Turn brown. Really? Brown. brown. <laughs> it's going to turn brown. It's, if you remember back from elementary school mixing colors, it just kind of goes to mud. So it tastes really good, but if you want a really pretty green smoothie, keep all of your veggie, all of your fruits, uh, like white or yellow. Then you mix that with green, it's going to be really pretty. Okay. So... Um, this is one that's a little bit lighter. The other ones I usually do, I use like milk or almond milk and some yogurt, and it's more of a creamy smoothie. This is just a straight green smoothie, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is some mangoes, and about anywhere from a quarter to a third cup of each of these. I'm just, again, just kinda, kinda eyeball it and throw them in here. Um, pineapple. Pineapple, throw three or four pieces of pineapple in there, that's good. Um, oh, one more. Let's do, these are bananas. Uh, love the thrive bananas. You know, when you buy bananas at the store, how long do they last usually? Mm, sometimes less than a week. Yeah. If you ever go to the store, sometimes the, all the bananas, I took a picture one time, every one of them was just bright green. So you got to bring those home, let them ripen, and then you've got a couple of days before they go brown, right? Um, you know why they have to pick them so green? Because they have to travel so far. Yeah, most of them travel from South America. Right. And um, you know, like, the I think the average banana travels like eighteen hundred miles to get to to our um, grocery stores in the U.S. So um, it's it the thrive bananas are picked at the peak of freshness. So they picked when they're yellow, then they're flash frozen, and then we freeze dry them. So a lot of nutrients and just and a lot of flavor and just a little bit of bananas. Apples. Fuji apples with the skin on, and they are delish. Yep, those are really okay, so good. those are going in. What yeah, else let's we got? Do, let's do just a little bit more of each of these, just to get a good. Since if this was just for one of us, I'd probably just do that one. So let's throw a little bit more of everything, um, just to give us enough for both of us. Now we're going to do about a quarter. That's a what is that? A half or a quarter? A third of a cup. We'll do about a third of a cup of spinach. Again, this is the. Thrive green spinach um, lasts for up to a year after you open the can on your shelf. So it really lasts a long time. It's really great. And this is kale, um, a superfood, right? Yep. So there's a little bit of kale. Now, a couple of the things we like to add in is our limeade. This is Thrive Limeade. It is sugar-free, packs a real punch, yeah. very strong, so it doesn't take very much. You can use lime juice, lemon juice, or none at all, but this gives it a nice flavor. I just take a little pinch of that and put it in there because it doesn't take very much. And then you don't need to use a sweetener, um, but I like a little bit of sweet. You can use any kind of sweetener you want, honey, sugar, agave. This is uh, Thrive Honey Crystals. We're gonna throw in a nice heaping spoonful, maybe even a little bit more of that. You can kind of sweeten it to taste. Now. The kind of the, the trick to knowing how much liquid to add for a smoothie or really pretty much anything that you're refreshing with Thrive is um, people always want to know how much water do I add? And my kind of secret is to add water until whatever it is you're refreshing starts to float, kind of just lifts up off the bottom. So again, I'm going to put this up close and I'm just going to put it in there. And there it goes, just started to lift off the bottom. So that's kind of how you know 
The secret with refreshing freeze-dried is you can always add a little bit of more liquid, but it's really hard to take it away, yeah. right? And if you do have to pour it off, you're pouring off some of the nutrients and some of the flavors, right? right. And so it's good just to not add very much, and you can always add a little bit more as you go along if you need it. Um, I'm going to throw in some ice. Um, let's, let's do, again, this is different than what I'm used to, so I know kind of how much ice to put in my regular smoothies, but I'm going to start out with... You know, about that much, and if I have to add a little more liquid or ice as it goes along, I can. So here comes the noise. That looks pretty good. I'm going to throw a little bit more ice. I can tell if it needs more ice because if it starts really bouncing up a little bit. Starts bouncing, it needs more ice, but that's pretty good right now. All right. Ooh, that was noisy. Now that's green. Is that green for you? <laughs> that is really good. All right, really green, really pretty. I'm gonna pour a little bit in there. So that only made about 10 ounces. That is really green. It's really green. I've never seen a smoothie so green. Because we're so used to mixing yeah, reds and dark, purples in with it. So that's a green smoothie. But try that and tell me how you like it. Bam. That is good. That is really good. It's refreshing. Really it is. refreshing. It is. Really good. Really good green smoothie. Thanks, McKay, for the... The recipe, that is awesome. Yes, thank you. We'll be enjoying this probably almost on a daily basis. <laughs> All right, we'll see ya.